for observing Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Yeah, that's right. And typically we hear of women who were victims of abuse, but that's not always the case. News 11's Nico Santos joins us now live in the studio with one very brave man's story. Nico. John Naisha, Alfred Garcia says as a man, he was embarrassed to ask for help. That is until he found a little hope. He used the violent relationship he was in to inspire him to prevent it from happening to anyone else again. Everybody kept telling me, what did I do to make her stab me? It was my fault that this had happened. Even when I got stabbed, the cops, uh, the police had came and they set me in the back of the car. Though the stats are worse for women, on average, one man is murdered by his intimate partner every day in the U.S. That's according to the Bureau of Justice. And that was almost the case for Alfred Garcia. Yet, embarrassed by his situation, he simply put up with it. A few months after I got stitched up, I went back to get my belongings from her. And I wanted to be back with her. And I said, well, I guess this is what love is. And I just have to learn to, to live with it. After almost two decades of abusing alcohol and making a few trips to jail, Garcia decided to turn his life around. He's now a peer support specialist working with Kids at the Healing Journey, a nonprofit in Yuma that helps domestic violence victims. These are some great kids. They, they, they love that we're honest and we, that we allow them to be themselves. Estrella Fitch is the founder and director of The Healing Journey. She says abuse affects the entire community. The group's services cover much of the victim spectrum, but they're still working to reach out to even more. Because we do have men calling that were abused as boys and who carry this stigma. They have this anger that they want to deal with. And so they've been calling me. We need to do something about it. We're here to help. We're here to be of service. And The Healing Journey is a great place to start. Now, to observe Domestic Violence Awareness Month, there will be a vigil that's October 24th. Now, the event is a free chance to hear from survivors and to learn about local services for victims. Again, a big thank you to Alfred for sharing his story with us. Live in the studio, I'm Nico Santos, News 11.